I'm happy to introduce the uh, next speaker, uh, June Young. And I uh, from from Harvard, and I would like to remind you that everything is recorded, uh, including your questions, which are you're nevertheless encouraged to ask. Please. Uh, hi everyone. Um, today I would like to introduce my recent result on the plantar mirror of an adelic outbreak group and the monument dimensions. Uh, actually, I will finally I will show that. This concept are equivalent, so we can just erase and is equals. And before introducing the main result, I would like to have an overview of the basic definitions. Uh, and then after stating my main result, I, I would like to have a quick review of an old theorem proved by Atiyah and Schmidt, which inspired me a lot. And I would also like to tell you the gap between that theorem and my result. So first of all, what is a plantar mirror? So I just write P mirror. Uh, we start with a topological group G. Uh, let G hat to be the unitary door. So that is the equivalent classes of unitary, irreducible un, un, unitary representations, unitary door. So, or that is just uh, irreducible representations. The isomorphic class. Okay, so let's consider an easy example. So when G is a bit uh, finite, there's a well-known result, the group algebra of G is isomorphic to the direct sum of all the representations in the dual. And it's a direct sum over the matrix over H pi, where H pi is the underlying Hilbert space of H pi, and it's always finite dimensional. I should mention that this is not just an isomorphism as vector space, it's a GG bimodial isomorphism. Because we have two regular representations on the left hand side and also the two regular representations on the right, right side. Okay, that is the easiest case. Now, we only assume G is locally compact. And unimodal, so we can, oh, unimodular, and we can fix a harm around that. Moreover, I also assume it's of type one. I will not give you the precise definition of type one group here, but I should mention out reductive group is inside and out compact group is in also contained in type one group. And if G is not compact or not, not a bit uh, finite, we can just consider the L2 space of G uh, with respect to a fixed hard mirror. It's also isomorphic to the direct integral of the representations in the unitary door of G of this tensor space. With respect to a mirror, so that is mirror on G hat. And that is the plantar mirror. Also, this isomorphism is, uh, is in the category of GG by module because we have also the two regular representations on left hand side. And how can we get light isomorphism? That is nothing but the Fourier transform. So we have G F height, which sent a single uh, representation pi to an integral over G of F G pi G with respect to the hard mirror. So that is the definition of plantar mirror. Okay, now, uh, what is the plantar mirror of an adelic group? Mm, 
So let's start with the number field F. So F is a only a number field. We assume it's a finite extension of the rational field. And for simplicity, you can just take F to be the rational field itself. Okay, let A sub F to be the Adele ring. And I will let you know what is the Adele ring of F. So we just consider the rational field. The Adele ring over the rational field is just the restricted product of local fields. And P runs through the primes. And the one more, infinite prime. So Q, the local field at infinity is just the real field. And what is the restricted product? That is a sequence of, of numbers in the, in the natural product such that the local coordinates is in the periodic integer almost everywhere. Okay, so uh, all right, we can now we will consider uh, F algebraic group, so F group. So we assume it's a reductive F group, G or F. And uh, we are not very interest, interested in the representation theory of this group. Instead, we will consider the irreducible representations of the group uh, over the Adele ring. Why we are interested in the representation theory of this? Because if you consider the automorphic representation of this, the, uh, you can, so for example, you consider GLN over a uh, over the Adele ring of Q. The global long lens correspondence say that is, uh, it's, it, there's a correspondence between the representation theory of this Adele group and n-dimensional representations of the absolute Galois group. So that's why we always consider the representation theory here. You need to write GLN, you don't have N. Oh, yeah, yeah, right. Okay, so now a natural question is what is the planter mirror of this group? So we start ahead. Uh, actually, I can show that the planter mirror of the Dell group, I think this result is implicit in 1960s. So that is the restrict product of the following mirror space. So we assume there is the planter mirror new here. It's the restricted product of the planter mirror, the door group of the local group, the planter mirror of the local group, group with respect to another site. So that is the site of unramified representation. And the planter of mirror of this site is what? So it's well defined to take the restricted product. Okay, so now let's move on to the Newman dimension. So what is a uh, Newman dimension? We start with a uh, group gamma, which is supposed to be a discrete comfortable group. So you can also treat this as a finite group, but we usually consider the infinite group. And there are two natural actions, just as I mentioned before. Two natural regular representation of gamma on the L2 space of gamma. So we take the counting mirror here and we, we denote action by lambda and rho. Uh, let's consider the image of the live regular representation of gamma. And if we take the strong operator closure of this image, that is the so-called definition of the group Newman algebra. 
of gamma. I should mention that you can also define this to be the right from the right regular representation, and you get another algebra. It's also the group one algebra. They are isomorphic, and there are two things I should mention. You can show that this algebra, the commutant of this algebra, is the the one you get from the right regular representation. And second, there is a natural choice. Trace on this algebra. It's just defined by the trace of an operator X. It's an inner product of X with third E. So third E is the uh, the vector from the orthogonal basis here. So we let orthogonal basis to be third gamma. And this inner product is taken over L2 space of gamma. Okay, so that is uh, the choice on, on the group from the algebra. So what is dimension? Suppose that H is a module over this group from the algebra. We can show that there is a partial isometry. You send H to the following tensor space. So that is the L2 space, and here we just take any infinite dimensional Hilbert space. And moreover, both U and U star is commutes with the action of L gamma. So we can say that is L gamma linear. Now we consider U, U star. This operator commutes with L gamma. So let's in L gamma prime in the bounded operator on L2 space. So that is a long algebra censoring the whole bounded operator space. But you can see that the left vector, this is just the long algebra from the right regular representation. So there is a choice. Just the choice I give here. It can be also defined on the right regular representation. And on this algebra, we have a natural choice. So the volumen dimension of H over this algebra is defined to be the tensor and product of these two trees of U, U star. And you can show that this is well defined. It's not depends on choice of this partial isometry. Okay. Yeah. Now I can state the main result. Now we take. So what does this natural trace? On the second factor. Yes, the bounded iterator. Yeah, just the trace class operator, the trace scheme. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But you use star with the trace class? Yeah, I can show that. Yeah. Uh, okay, so now let's consider a subset X of the dual group of the dual unit dual of the adult group over X. Moreover, if we assume the Plancherot measure of this x is finite. Now we define a Hilbert space, h sub x, to be, so it's defined to be the direct integral of the irreducible representations appeared in x of h pi with respect to the planter mirror. You can see that this is Hilbert space, which is a module over three different objects. First, it's naturally a module over the Dell group. Second, it's also a module over the rational group. So it's a discrete subgroup here. And third, it's also a module 
over the group from numerical algebra of this rational group. Because this group is also discrete and countable, we can make the definition of group from numerical algebra. Okay, uh, a natural question is that, what is the Bungerman dimension of this Hilbert space with respect to the rational group Bungerman algebra? This is my result. So let's assume here. Actually, I prove this is nothing but the planter mirror of X itself. So the left hand side is some analytic result, and the right hand side is some representation result. But there's one more restriction G, so the GF, the outbreak GF should be semi simple and also simply connected. Uh, I should mention that that is sim simply simply connected as algebraic group, not not just as a topological group. Maybe you can consider the itself a fundamental group. Okay, so uh, then we will I will have a review of uh, an old theorem which inspired me to a light theorem. Oh, uh, first thing I should mention that suppose we have two L gamma module, H1 and H2. And if L gamma is a factor, so you only call this a one factor if gamma is not finite. So I mean the center of this group algebra is just scalar. scalar. Uh, we have that H1 H1 and H2 are isomorphic as a L gamma module. If only if the dimension are the same. Uh, now I will state a, a proof of a theorem proved by Atia and Schmid. And then by Goodman, Harp and Jones in 1970s, in 1980s. We start with a real Lee group. So G here is just real Lee group not uh, uh, an arbitrary algebra group. And gamma is a lattice here. By lattice, we mean the, the quotient, uh, the power measure of the quotient space is finite. And moreover, we assume the group from algebra is a factor. Now we consider a representation of G which is a discrete series. So what is a discrete series? Uh, discrete series are something special for the planter mirror. So that is the single element with positive planter mirror. And we already call this the formal dimension. And uh, let's... Uh, uh, this is well studied by Harry Chandra in 1960s. Uh, the proof, uh, the theorem of them is that the dimension of this space H pi over the group from algebra of L gamma is a product of the formal dimension and higher measure of the quotient space. Uh, now I let me tell you what's gap between these th two zero. Uh, first, 
it's, it's we just restrict us to the really groups. Mostly really groups do not have these code series. For example, if you look at GLN of our real field with n greater than three, such group has no discrete series. And moreover, the adelic group over any number field has no discrete series. So we cannot apply this theorem anymore. Yeah, that's the first guy. Second, um, if we, uh, the lattice in this group is usually taken to be the rational group, but the group volume algebra is no longer a factor. Uh, so if the group volume algebra of this rational group is not factor, we can also define the volume dimension. This just depends on the canonical choice, so it's still a well-defined, but it can also give you the uh, invariant of the isomorphic class of the group module. Yeah. Third, uh, there's some. If you take an algebraic group G and consider its integral point, so it's a discrete group of G or the real field. Uh, you should apply some rigidity theorem by Borel to, to, to prove that this group is directly dense in that group. But in our case, if you consider this group, the group of a rational field or any number field is automatically dense in the local field at infinity. So I have infinity is either rational field or uh, real field or complex field. Mm. Okay, that is uh, all I would like to talk about today. Thank you for listening. Okay, any questions? Questions? In the non factor case, there exists a central valid trace. Yeah, yeah, I know. It says work by yeah. Kappa, right? Uh -huh. Yeah. So, so it's a generalization with this. But for the planar, uh, planetary matter size, we just need a value. We, we do not need the central value. So, so you don't have an interpretation of the value of the central value trace? Uh, I think uh, uh, that should be a good question, but I haven't considered this. Yeah, I know there's a central value choice, but for the planetary mirror, the this trace is not. I know this is not uh, so well defined, but it's well defined to for itself. Yeah, it cannot give the isomorphic class of the underlying Hilbert space. Yeah. Other questions? Um, I I feel this should be related to the bomb con conjecture for for the group because the pairing with the trace the monomial dimension that's a case theoretic uh property so probably you if uh so the bomb con conjecture essentially predict what is a case theory of the group cyst algebra yeah and from there i i, I think there should be a relation uh, of course, uh, at this point, it's the von Kahn conjecture is known uh, for more general group like reductive. I mean, almost connected. Well, uh, at least for connected groups, that's re groups. That's all true. Uh, so probably there is some connection. I I believe there is some connection there. 
Yeah, I also think so. I have read several notes by you about from Kong conjecture. Yeah. Okay. Other questions? Uh, so can you explain uh, what, uh, what is, why you made these comments at the end, what, what they were for? Oh, um, the motivation of for me is to generalize this to see how large I can generalize. So can we replace the real group by ah. the PID group or the Adelic group? But you know that for the Adelic group, there's no discrete series. So I have to go to the more general setting, which is just the planetary model. Ah. So, so this is the motivation for this theorem. That's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, other questions? Okay, let us thank the speaker.